Now we're getting into the more challenging part of the class, and today we're focusing on the APA citations, that is, inside your text. When you're writing your research, what do you put inside there to make your citation to show where did you get the information from? So let's begin with the most straightforward, the most often used one of these issues, which is when you actually quote from something you've read. That's called a direct quote. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our citation inside of a parenthetical. Parenthetical, check out that word there, parenthetical text. That means inside parentheses inside parentheses. That means that we're going to be writing our research sentence and then we're going to have a parentheses open and a parentheses close. Please remember, before parentheses you must have one space. Please remember the space, right? And after the parentheses you must also have one space. And there's no space at the beginning, no space at the end inside the parentheses. We're going to look at some examples in a second to see that, but keep that in mind. So here's an example of how that looks like. Get rid of these. Jones, 2015, comma, P for page, period, space, 152, wrote, No factor is more important, although not all researchers support this. So here we need to first See, we have a quotation, don't we? A quotation, a direct quote. That means we took this from a book, from a journal article, from somewhere. This is exactly what someone wrote. Where did we get it from? We got it from the author is Jones. So this is the author's last name, family name. This is the parenthetical. Open parentheses, close parentheses. And then inside here, we're going to follow the APA style guide, which is we need to have the year, then a comma. And if this is a direct quote, it must be on a page, on a specific page. So we're going to put P for one page. If it was more than one page, it would be PP, two P's together. And we have the page number, which is 152. So this is just a little example to get us going. Here's another little example. Perception is key to consumer satisfaction. What's the difference between these two examples? Obviously, they're not the same. The difference is very straightforward. One is a direct quote, and one is not a direct quote. It's more what we call a paraphrase. That is, it's about what they said, but not exactly what they said. If you use quotation marks, it must be exactly, open quotation, close quotation, exactly what they say. If it's not exactly what they say, you cannot use quotation marks. Even if it's one word different, you cannot use quotation marks. Quotation marks must be exactly the same. In any case, you still must have a citation. You still must tell the reader, where did this come from? And so we're going to have to have that parenthetical inside of there. In this one, it's much simpler, right? Because we're just going to say, yeah, this is kind of the idea that came from this person. And who was this person? This person is the author Smith, and we have a comma, and then the year of the publication is from is 2012. So again, this is the APA rule. We will look at more closely.